Hey, Jules Garden, don't forget to hit the sub if you want. If you want a sub, leave a comment, though. And not the comment of uh, stop by, let's be friends, all that. Let's not do that. Yeah, this is the second video on growing zucchini. And zucchini, man, you should grow zucchini. You can make zucchini boats, of course. You can eat it. Just, you yeah, know, slice it up, do a little... Uh, fry job on it, mix it in with some other vegetables, whatever you want to do. But you can also make fritters out of it. You can make meatballs out of it. Well, obviously not real meatballs, but you know, you can make a vegetarian meatball out of zucchini. Oh, I love zucchini. So anyway, this is the second one. I'm showing you the planting, how we get it started. Oh, and go back and watch that other video if you want the a whole thing. It was posted on January 19th, somewhere in there, this year. I posted a gardening video in the middle of the winter. That's what we do here. All right, well, first things first. This is small space gardening. Give you a little shot of it. That is seven wide, 13 long. Got a few paths in it. So it's not quite that amount of square footage if you multiply it, but up here, uh, we just pulled the rest of the radish. Pulled out um, uh, a head of lettuce, a butter, a butter crunch that headed up for us real nice to the right of that cabbage there. And I even trimmed up some of that Swiss chard behind the tomato. And I trimmed the tomato up. Because we're getting ready to put our zucchini right here, nice and sunny. Awesome soil, as you can tell. That is cow manure, garden soil. Some 10, 10, 10s in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm gonna do is make a hill out of that. Now a hill for zucchini can be just an area, a flat area, or it could be an actual hill. I use actual hills to help with drainage. Three's enough and uh, One's too few and two will do. That's the old saying. But I actually do four and I'll pull it either to just two or just three, depending on the situation. Yeah, but we're gonna hill that up and put our zucchini in. And if you look over here, see that pot with the post, that's where uh, crookneck squash will go in. Crookneck is not in the same family. Uh, obviously, it's a squash, but they will not cross-pollinate. If you put straight in, then you might get some cross, which doesn't really matter the year you're growing. But if you do the seeds or they drop later, you'll get some Frankensteins. Yep, and I do want to say that if you look back, yeah, we still have radish growing. Lots of it. There is still six foot going and behind it where there's no height against the wall is a bunch of beets. And so this is how we do it anyway, small space. We kind of have to mix the warm season with the cold as best we can. Every year is different because you got to rotate your crops. You just do what you got to do. Now here comes the wind, but anyway, here is the hill. You can see uh, that little divot back there. That's actually a path, and you really, uh, you don't want to waste good soil on your path. So that's pulled over. This is really good. I mean, from the top of the bed, it's about four to five inches, but if you count it to the clay, it's more like 10 to 12 inches. The four uh, posts you see there, they'll be pulled after I do this video, but that's where I put the seeds so on each side, I will keep one out of the four, the best. And then spacing, yeah, that's about a foot and a half. Well, it is, the center of the hill is a foot and a half off this path, which means the one on this side that I keep will cross this path eventually. Yep, and that's okay. Doesn't matter, because I have other paths to get through this garden. Okay, so I can get to it. This will actually be it sloppy, believe it or not, but I don't believe in a, <clears throat> I just let things do their thing and I'll clean it up when I need it. So this is gonna be the trench, always is the trench. Uh, we'll clean that up and that'll be okra. 
and so this will spill over towards the okra later, right? I mean, if you look real close, you'll see what looks like weeds. Those are actually volunteer peppers, so I'm gonna let them get up and transplant them. Okay, and when this stuff just back to small space gardening, baby, that's what we do. When this stuff is getting up, the sagini, the cabbage will be done. All right, it's already heading up. I can show you that, I guess. Get up off my behind. She's heading real nice, as is the red. Okay, so in a couple of weeks, we'll do the same thing over there for the crook neck. And by then, these seedlings will be up. And then, you know, you play it by ear, but when they're getting close, that should be done. And essentially, you've used the same space for your cool and warm season plants. And you're not wasting dirt on a path that you can use to make your hill. And once again, that's about 10 to 12 inches till you get to the clay. I've been working on this for years. So, but no, am I luck. We had an awesome crop last year of zucchini. I'm snake bit. These are second year seeds, you know I'm cheap. Uh, if they don't germinate, I'll just have to go to the Yeah, so the adventure's on. Zucchini, we had to rotate it. We had it over in the uh, west bed last year and it was prolific. That's a big word. This year, we'll see. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping we have good luck, but uh, you know, this is part how to and part uh, I don't know, reality TV. I'll show you how it turns out like everything else I've been doing. We'll show you how it turns out. It's educational at least. But I'm guessing this is going to be a good year for zucchini. Or maybe I should say I'm hoping. All right, guys. Y'all leave a comment, whatnot, and we will see you on the next episode. Peace.